You know, in most of our Bobcat repair videos, we try to show you how to repair machines and fix them yourselves without using special tools and software. Unfortunately, sometimes you just need the software with these new electronic engines and all the controllers and stuff that are on the machines. The problem is the dealers do not want you to have access to the tools or the software to do this yourself. Let me explain. So for the most part, the Bobcat machine is independent of the engine as far as interfaces and software goes. We have to have a separate interface to talk to the Doosan engines that started in about 2014. Before that, we had the Kubota IT4s that uses the Diagmaster and the DSTi um, interface, but we're not gonna talk about the Kubota. We're specifically talking about Doosan engines today and Bobcat machines. So the engine uses its own interface, which is called a UVIM, and then the Bobcat, we have to have a separate software and a separate interface so that we can talk to the machine side. So machine side uses one interface software, engine uses a separate interface and software altogether. Now on the engine, on the Doosan engines, we've got basically three different softwares that we use on these. See, Starting in 2014, when we started with the Doosan engine, they had Delphi injection systems in them. So that's fine. We have the software for the Delphi injection systems, but the problem is that the Delphi did not have the DEF system. So anything like a, a T750 or an S750, 770 or an 870, you've got DEF on those machines. So we have a DCU and we have to talk to that DCU with another software. So. Uh, we've got an, uh, what we call a V1 engine software and a V1 um, DCU or dosing unit software. So, so two different there. And then in 2020, when we started going to the Bosch injection systems, then we have a separate uh, engine software that we call V2. That's what Bobcat's calling them. Now, Doosan has the same software that's just not labeled with Bobcat. So that's kind of how we're building our own systems here is kind of going more toward the um, the Doosan side. So on the table, what we have here is the original Bobcat UVIM that we use to talk to the engine. And now here to talk to the Bobcat machine, we have to have what we call a remote start box. Now this allows you to turn the machine on, um, release the parking brake, run the auxiliaries. It's kind of um, some handy stuff on there, but not, not something you use all the time. And then of course you have to have a laptop with all the software loaded on it in order to talk to anything. So with that being said, the dealers aren't gonna sell you those tools. And even if you do find the tools, now you gotta find the, the software and the dealer's certainly not gonna sell you the software. That's why we just went ahead and started building our own communication devices, building our own cables, and we've got our own software that allows you to do the same thing the dealer can do, and even more, to be honest with you. Let's take a look at our options. Now we can provide you with the original uh, remote start box and the original UVIM kit as seen here. Um, instead of get them from Bobcat, we just get them straight from Doosan. But they're terribly expensive, and there'll be a link in the description for all these parts. But like I said, these are really expensive, and then the software um, is separate. But software is also separate for our machine. So here's what we designed and built. So this is our new start box, and now we can't start the machine. We can turn it on from the rear here when we plug this into the back of the machine. We can turn the machine on, and then that way we can um, use our software to talk to the machine. We can run updates, we can run calibrations, we can check all kinds of codes and just, we can do everything that basically a dealer can do with our software. Now on the engine side, like I said, we just looked at the original UVIM. We also have this UVIM as an option. Now, sure, you can find this online. The problem is none of them work with Bobcat, so we have to build our own cables and our software to work for the Bobcat machine. So we have to change everything to make that work. And um, again, this is a, a Doosan, and we just have it all work for the Bobcat machines. And like I said, we've got plenty of those in stock. We also preload our laptops. These are Panasonic CF53 laptops, and we also have some other options as far as laptops goes, but these come preloaded with all the software you'll need for all the Bobcat machines. And 
course, we got plenty of remote start boxes that we're building and plenty of UVIMs and everything in stock. So everything you need will be listed in the description. So if you buy one of our kits, you're not going to be left in the dark. We're going to start doing uh, videos on how to actually do uh, engine software and probably the Bobcat side as well. It's pretty much self-explanatory. And the engine side is too. The only problem is you don't necessarily know exactly what parameters and stuff to look for. You can look at all the information, but what is the correct information you're looking for? So uh, we will teach you, you know, all of our methods that we use when we um, uh, when we're testing injectors, whether they're doing suction con uh, suction control valves or uh, IVMs or uh, EGR test, uh, no cryer start crank no start conditions uh, we'll go over all the tests that we can run how we run them you know shut off test glow plug test buzz test we'll go through everything in our videos and it'll be multiple videos when we get it all put together but at least you have not only the tools to talk to your machine so whether you're you know a rental company owner operator uh, independent uh, service shop whatever the case may be you will have access to do everything program injectors update controllers if you have to replace controllers program controllers it's all available in our uh, kits here so uh, like i said a lot of the links will be in this in the description but you'll just have to kind of reach out to us send us an email or something if you have any specific questions as far as how the kits work and uh, if there's anything else you need to know so thanks for watching